Hey, it's Kirk here with Secret Nature. I'm at my friend Sue's house and I've got the Geiger counter and what we're going to be looking at is some of this right here. This is Fiesta Wear and this is actually radioactive. Uh, this stuff has a glaze on it that has uranium in it. Now in the last video uh, I was talking about uh, some of the uranium that was put into glass to turn it green. And the same thing happened with uh, some of that uranium ore that was taken and uh, made into glazes. It was basically uh, a byproduct of making uh, or extracting radium. They took that uranium and then they were able to uh, make some really uh, cool color glazes like this. And these are quite radioactive. I'm going to turn on the Geiger counter here and we'll take a reading. So they no longer use uranium glazes like this. It's not just Fiesta wear either. Uh, a lot of the products from the same era used uh, uranium glaze. We'll see how high up we get here. Doing a one minute count, we're already at 500. So these orange glazes tend to have the, uh, the highest levels of uranium in them. We're up to 700. And once they started to figure out that maybe this wasn't the best idea, uh, by sometime in the 1960s, they stopped using uh, uranium to get these colors. You're up to a thousand counts per minute. Should be stopping. There we go. 1,172. That's uh, how radioactive this was. Uh, you know, this yellow pitcher back here. A little bit, a little bit radioactive, but really, this orange color is what gives you uh, the highest readings for uh, your stoneware or different types of products that had uranium in the glaze. So, thanks for Sue to have me over to check out her Fiesta wear. Just one more radioactive thing you might have in your house. Thanks for watching. You can click the Secret Nature button in the middle there to subscribe to this channel and receive more content. You can also click on one of the playlists on the left or right for more from Secret Nature. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing.